Have you ever wondered what happens after ever after? Have you always yearned to know if the end is really the end? No? Well, you're going to find out anyway. With your hosts, Andy, Tammy, and Gina. This is 2D Vision. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the first episode of this new podcast called 2 Division. I'm your, one of your hosts, Gina. And this podcast is going to be all about the very, very beloved Disney sequels. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know... <laughs> Um, well, me and Andy and Tammy, which are their co-hosts, uh, which are going to introduce themselves just in a little bit. We all kind of grew up in the middle to late 90s, early 2000s, so we kind of grew up with the Disney sequels. And so we are really interested in talking about them, which, uh, with their ups and downs and everything. They're very, they're a very interesting subject. They're an interesting, they are a very interesting topic. Yes, yeah. they are. So we're going to introduce ourselves. Um, first of all, thank you very much for listening to us. Uh, we're going to make sure to make this podcast as fun as possible. Um, well, my name is Gina, as I said. I'm 21 years old. I study communications with a major in filmmaking. Um, I've been a Disney fan for as long as I can remember. Um, I, my first, the first movie I ever watched in theaters, according to my mom, is, was Tarzan. And the first one I actually remember is Monster Sync. So even though if we're not talking, we're not gonna talk about Pixar, but it, it's still part of Disney history. So yeah, I'm, I have a big, big attachment to Disney. <laughs> uh, ever since I was a child, I wa- I went to Disney World when I was like five years old, and it's one of the best memories of my life because um, my my whole family was there and it was very fun. And just every time I think of Disney, I really think of very positive things, and it really it's a very 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 big part of my life. So yeah, so I'm gonna introduce you to the other hosts. Um, you go, you go. Okay. Uh, well, hello everyone. I am Andy. As as everyone on this podcast, yes, I am a huge, huge Disney fan. Uh, Disney has been in my life since forever. According to my mom, the first movie I watched was Cinderella because my grandmother just. I put it on the TV for me when I was like three days old. So yeah, mm-hmm. um, it, it, yeah, <laughs> and it's gonna be fun because Cinderella has some very interesting sequels. <laughs> I am excited to talk about those. Um, and yeah, maybe we can talk more about me when the other host introduces herself. Oh yes, hi. My name's Tammy. Um, I'm a big Disney fan as well. I, I watch one every time I feel, I feel, um, like down and it just cheers me right up. It just cheers me up right up. Um, the first Disney film I remember watching was Sleeping Beauty. I remember it because I recreated the waking up scene with my brother and oh. we, we got in trouble because apparently, cause we were like five. We got in trouble and my, with my babysitter because I didn't know why at first. I know why now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! But I was like, we were like four and five. We didn't know. Okay, oh. so we recreated that scene, and my babysitter just got mad at us, and she <laughs> were like, oh, no. "Nope, stop." <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's a fun fact. <laughs> you you, yeah, you can I, understand that, maybe. I mean, I was like, we were like four or five. Yeah. We, didn't, we didn't know. <laughs> we were so innocent. Yeah. Right? We just on. wanted to like, I think we recreated Disney scenes a lot because my parents told me that we recreated the Pocahontas meeting John Smith scene too. <laughs> oh, wow. That, that's yeah. like intellectually Disney. Good, good for you. <laughs> yeah, me too. I know. And, and there was this story where he had a toy Lego gun, like he built it apparently and when he jumped, the gun fell apart, and he tried his best to like put it back together so he can keep in tune with the scene that was going on. <laughs> so cute. Okay, Aww. but yeah, that's that's me. That's my intro. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yeah, amazing. Well, as you can see, we're all very, very, very attached to Disney and the movies, and they're obviously a huge part of us. And I think we can safely say we wouldn't be the people that we are today without Disney and its influence on us. Yeah, definitely. And as you can hear, maybe uh, Andy and I 
are not American, we are Mexican, so it, that's actually kind of interesting as well because you can see that Disney is like a very worldwide phenomenon that just knows no boundaries and we just love Disney just as much as anyone else. And, um, well, I want to talk about a, a little bit about how this podcast was born. Yeah. And I'm, I'm sure, or well, maybe you're not familiar with it, but I'm pretty sure you have heard of this little podcast called Disorder, Every Disney Movie, which <laughs> is a podcast by uh, real fans for real movies. Yes. And they basically review every single Disney movie since Snow White up to the very um, um, Moana and all the new ones. And they're very good. They're amazing. I love listening to them. They have some very interesting insights because they're a couple. Of, some of the hosts are from a whole different generation from us, and they grew up really with uh, very very classic Disney movies. And it's very interesting to listen to them talk about them and giving their insights and their opinions and all the little history and facts that we, even us as Disney fans, didn't even know. So Andy oh. showed this podcast to me <laughs> and we showed it to Tammy and we all really, really liked it and we were very inspired by them to create our own podcast talking about the Disney sequels because, as I said, we kind of did grow up with them just as much as the originals. And we know they're kind of controversial, and all of them are like <laughs> Disney classics. They're per not, se. yeah, they're not what you would call Disney. We classics. know they're bad, but we still like them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They have something uh, in the Disorder podcast. They call some of the movies that are kind of under the radar that Disney adequate. These are not, these are not even that. These are not even <laughs> Disney adequate. These are like. I don't even know what they are. Disney They're Disney sequels. That's the whole. That's everything I can say to describe them. But it's very fun to talk about them. We we have um, talked about them because you know we're friends. We're all uh, actually we, we we should talk about how we, we all met because it's a very interesting story. Uh, who wants to start with this? Any volunteers? Maybe me. Yeah, you. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, Andy. Okay. Or with so, Tina. Yeah, we are, as Gina said, we are from different parts of the world. And the reason that we got together and actually have met each other, um, I say we, we've met each other um, in person because we, the first time we met, it was through the World Wide Web, <laughs> through the internet. We are internet buddies. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Sorry. Um, so yeah, we, do, do you want the whole story? <laughs> well, the, 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 the very uh, important part the of that, to version. we should go back to 2010. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> you, you <laughs> girls just uh, roaming around YouTube and we kind of just like, in, just met each other through YouTube and Disney videos and yeah. that was almost like eight years ago, I, I think. At least Andy and I met almost eight years ago, and then we, yeah. we both... Yeah, I met you guys six years ago, I think. 2012, 2013. Yeah, I think. But we met for because we were kind of in the same circle of Disney... Disney and, YouTubers. Uh, Disney, Disney YouTubers, <laughs> and yeah. So we are internet friends, and uh, actually Andy and I uh, have met uh, in person many, many times, and right now we are living in the, in the same city. For but, the first time, yeah. Yeah, but like a week ago, that wasn't the case. <laughs> we are from uh, the very two polar opposite sides of Mexico. Like, she lives in the west and lives in the east. And that's uh, mm. very interesting because even though we live very far apart, we have been able to meet each other in person at least four or five times in mm -hmm. all these eight years. And then uh, Andy and Tammy have met in person yeah. too. Yeah, I, I've met Bo, Gina, and Tammy. And I haven't met Tammy in person. <laughs> I'm still sad about it because I love her Me so too. much. We need to do that soon. We should. <laughs> uh, two Division uh, reunion. reunion podcast. Special we, episode. Yeah, At Disneyland. Episode Come to me. Together in person. That would be fantastic. A little bit. <laughs> the road. Um, so, yeah, and this was all made because of the magic of Disney. Yeah. And our love for it. <laughs> Yeah, so it, it so yeah, it's, it's a really combination of the disorder guys, which we really uh, are big fans of, and we really thank them because 
even though I did send them an email about this, <laughs> I sent them like, uh, oh, hey guys, uh, we're three girls and we want to start this podcast and we want to make sure that you know beforehand and we still haven't gotten a reply from them, but I'm sure we will eventually. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, we are big fans of that podcast, so if you can go listen to them. And Andy, you want to say something? Uh, yeah, I just want to say uh, we are in no way affiliated to them. Yeah. And, and we're not... This is not a pre promotion by any no, means. We just no, no, like no, no. We're really just like very big fans, and we wanted to let you know the history of this podcast. Yeah, so it, it is important. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Kimmy, you want to say something? Um, no. <laughs> I think that's it. I love Disney. I love you guys, and I'm ready uh, to get this started. Yeah, it's gonna be very fun because we we have this group chat, and we're <laughs> always talking there and our conversations are miles long and <laughs> you're like why not a podcast wait we maybe it wasn't the time for the world to listen to our conversation yes and exactly. and decide for themselves if they like them if they like to hear us or not i don't yeah. know we're just here <laughs> to have fun and hopefully yeah. you will have fun listening listening to us as well <laughs> so um this episode is gonna be just just very short but i did want to um let um just talk about ourselves and our love for Disney. So I want to ask you guys, what's your favorite Disney movie, and what would you think is your favorite Disney sequel, at least like from the top of your mind? Like, go. Oh, Tammy, you you go first. Okay, wait. What was the question again? Sorry. Favorite Disney movie and your favorite Disney sequel, just off the top of the top of your head. Uh, can Pixar count or not? No, Pixar. Okay. Pixar. Uh, as I said, we're so not. So Pixar really, does not count. Yeah, we're we're not talking about Pixar on this podcast yet. Maybe in the future, but we're focusing on the Disney Walt Disney animated features. Also, okay. I want to full disclosure: uh, a Goofy movie, even though we love it, is not actually part of the Walt Disney animated features. So is it? I don't know if it, it, it is. A, no, it's not. I did not know that. Yeah, it's not. I it's know. because it's a Disney tune, and because it's part, uh, it it starts Goofy, and all the movies that start that those characters are not in the official lineup. Yeah, so that, that, unfortunately, that a Goofy movie sense. is not part of the Disney animated feature, so we cannot really make an episode about an extremely Goofy movie. But that may be changed in the future. But right now, we're focusing on the very uh, main mm-hmm. Disney movies, and it's and they're. Beloved sequels, of course. <laughs> uh, okay, Tammy, you go. Okay, so I think my favorite Disney film would be Lilo and Stitch. Oh, um, right. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, there's a lot of meaning for it for me. Um, when we first watched it, we watched it in theaters, and my my mom compared me and my brother to Lilo and Stitch because of how they fight in like the beginning and how they're just always at each other's necks, but at the end, they love each other. So that always means something to me, and Hawaii has a special place in my heart and my life because we go there every Christmas, and it's just something special for my family. Okay. And the film's also really, really great. It is. Um, for my favorite Disney sequel, that's... That's a toughie. <laughs> That's, <more difficult. laughs> That's a toughie. Hey, I, I gotta go into the reaches of my brain. <laughs> go back to nostalgia. I gotta think about this one. Um, my, I think my favorite Disney sequel has to be, I think, The Little Mermaid 2. Oh, that was like, like the one I watched all the time when I was little, when I was like six, seven, eight. I would play that all the time and I would sing all the songs. I still listen to the songs. I think they're good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I, I, yeah, I think that might be my favorite Disney sequel. I just, yeah, and I can still watch it to this day. It just has a lot of nostalgia to it for me. Hmm. All right, Andy, uh, that is that is really good, Tammy. Hey, I don't know if you noticed, you have like a a ocean theme going on. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I love the ocean. I'm a water bender, you guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was gonna say that. Like you guys don't know, but we are also very big Avatar: <laughs> The Last Airbender fans. And we are all very, we are all different elements. Tammy <laughs> is our water bender. I'm the air bender of the group, and Andy is our earth bender. Yeah, that means we're sadly lacking a fire bender, but we're always open for another <laughs> member. Yeah, so if you if you relate to the fire nation, just give us a call. 
<laughs> and if you look like Tuco, just go and Jeff. Yeah. Okay. Just, so this don't is give a, us a call. Just show up at our doorstep, please. <laughs> please. Yeah. You don't don't call. Just come. Just come. So fun. Okay. So this is a Disney podcast. All right. <laughs> Disney. 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 Okay. Uh, yeah. We are big fangirls of a lot of things. Yeah. So maybe they they will they will be coming up. When we yeah. Talk. More about that later. <laughs> um. Well. Uh, my Disney, my favorite Disney movie, it's really easy for me. Uh, actually, um, when I, when we said we met each other through the internet, uh, my first interaction with Gina, which is the first person I've met, um, it was because of a tingle video, because in that um, time, I just, <laughs> do you remember? Yeah, I remember <laughs> that video. Yeah, I think yeah. it's just still there. Around it is. the it's internet, still very very deep in the YouTube Tangled videos because this was way <laughs> back then when way Tangled back first came out. That's like your old channel. An HD, an HD version of the movie on it the was internet. a cam recording. It was a webcam recording. <laughs> so yeah, it's very very old, very very buried, and very 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 forgotten. <laughs> uh, well, uh, and I say this because in that time I was obsessed with Tangled. It was like maybe a week. After I saw it, I saw it for the first time. I think I saw that movie like maybe eight times or more. Amazing. Because um, I don't know, it was it was in my, in my preteens, so the movie really changed a lot for me. I was discovering myself and discovering who I was, and Disney was there for me. Uh, it was kind of kind of a rediscovery of Disney, um, and it really like changed my perspective in a lot of things. Like I get emotional when I think about it. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely tangled. Uh, maybe it's that connection, but I really do think it's a really good movie. And Rapunzel is will always be my favorite character of all time. I love the music. I love the songs. It was the first movie where I really started to think about the animators and how do you do that and how do you create that? How much does it cost? Uh, it, it started. It also started the film buff in me. Yeah. Uh, just to let you know, I am a film student right now, <laughs> so it and triggered a lot of things. Of yes, <laughs> it was all because of Tangled. And favorite <laughs> Disney sequel? Favorite Disney sequel? Okay. Uh, I think I have two. Can I say two or just one? Mm, just say one, you cheater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have to do it. Uh, okay. Okay. Pick one. Pick one. I w- one. Okay. Fantasia two thousand. <laughs> ah, great. I don't know if you saw this coming. I, I I don't know. I just thought about this, and we we commented before. Uh, I was going to say another one, one of those direct to video sequels that we, we are going to talk about. Yeah. But I don't know. Fantasia 2000. I think I saw it more times than the original when I was a kid, and it's it's kind of weird that I watched it as much as a kid because most of my cousins just didn't care for it. Because they fell asleep or they found, they found, they found it boring. But mm-hmm. not for me. I just really love all the sequences. I love the Firebird sequence with all my heart. Um, and yeah, it's just a really good movie. People say maybe it has some cheesy parts with, with the live action parts. Uh, in Fantasia, the original Fantasia is better. I think yeah. it is better, but I just, Really think it's beautiful, and that's it for me, Gina. Okay, so uh, for my favorite this movie, this is like also very very easy for me because I always always have a, a very special place for Disney in my heart. But there was this period of around five years when I kind of disconnected from Disney, and it was just like you know when you stop. Like be, being interested in Disney, in uh, kids stuff and something, and you start to think that you're way too g- grown up for that and everything. <laughs> but then I kind of rediscovered through a series of circumstances this little movie. Maybe you have heard about it. It's called The Lion King, mm-hmm. <laughs> and I saw it on 2009. I was, I think, around 13 years old. So you know, you're, you're I was very early in my teens and I saw it for the first time in many years and I absolutely fell in love with it. It made me feel stuff that no other movie had made me feel to that point. 
And like what Andy said about like Tangle being the first movie that made you think about the animators and how much work it takes for an animated movie to come to life and just how much a passion it is for the people who work on them and just that's what that's what I have with the Lion King because I just thought about just 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 look at the animation at the animation in the Lion King and you just feel like all the love that was poured into it, I think. The music is beautiful, the characters are amazing, the story is fantastic. I just have a very, very deep emotional connection to The Lion King. And even though Rapunzel is actually also my uh, favorite Disney character, my favorite Disney princess, of course, mm -hmm. there's just this part mm -hmm. of me that just can't let go of The Lion King and it's always going to be my favorite movie. Not just my favorite Disney movie, but just my favorite movie, period, because I have that connection and it was It was that movie that really brought me back to Disney. And after I watched The Lion, the Lion King, I started watching all the the movies from my childhood. And I, that's how I found... That's how my love for Disney kind of rekindled. And I it hasn't stopped ever since. And ever since 2009, I, I actually went to see The Princess and the Frog on theaters. And I was just so, so excited because I was like, oh my God, it's a 2D animated uh, Disney movie. And I was already there. Like, I was a 13-year-old girl, and I was so excited to see Prince and the Frog. It was amazing. It was very, very, a very interesting experience. And it's all because of Lion King. Uh -huh. And you want to say something? Yeah, you can see me right now, but I'm smiling a lot because Aww. I just really love it when these guys just get so happy when talking Aww. about Yeah. That's gonna happen a lot, I think. I, think. <laughs> I, I hope. <laughs> well, we have a lot of excruciating yeah, things. Yeah, but yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll be positive. Okay. We'll, be, we'll try to be positive. Sorry for the for. Yeah, it's okay. So for my favorite Disney sequel, it's a no-brainer because it. I'm also very attached to it. It's obviously <laughs> the Lion King. Too. <laughs> that was your second. <laughs> yeah, that was your second. I know. Uh, and I don't know. I I know a lot of people who. That was my second like too. It. Yeah, I, I know. I, I, it's actually more of the older crowd kind of people who don't really like any of the sequels, who didn't watch them as kids, so ju they just see it as just something that was born out of, you know, kind of a need to make a sequel. Or Which something. it was. Yeah, <laughs> it, it is. I'm not going to deny that the sequels are basically just kind of, they, they exist because they wanted to just cash in on the already existing Disney classic. <laughs> But that doesn't mean that there isn't good in them, and there are some good animated sequels, uh, Disney sequels, and I think Lion King 2 is one of them, I think. Uh, we're going to talk more about it, of course, when that episode comes comes out, but um, Lion King 2 is basically, I as a kid, I watched The Lion King 2 more than I watched The Lion King, basically, I think, because Kiara was the protagonist, there was a, a girl, and I, and I was a girl, so I kind of related to Kiara more than I could relate to Simba. So I watched Lion King 2 way more, way many more times than the Lion King, the, the original one as a kid. And like, I can, I think that kind of also, um, helped to really make my love for Lion King grow because I was already attached to Lion King 2. And that's very weird. I think it's a very weird thing that you watch the sequel more than the original, but that I can't, I can't deny my past. That's who I am. <laughs> it's not that weird. I know a lot of people. Yeah. It, I think it's our generation. Well, yeah, yeah, I think I think some of us kind of watch some of the sequels more than the original. And I, I'm pretty sure I watched The Little Mermaid too more than The Little Mermaid. I yeah, so me too. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, and if it's that, and if that good, if that bad, we don't know. We'll talk. We have we'll have that discussion once we get there. But I, I as I said, I can't deny who I am. And yeah, so The Lion King 2 is really my favorite Disney movie. It has its issues, but. Oh. I Disney movie? Yeah, uh, Disney, Disney sequel, yeah. sorry, sorry. <laughs> thank you. Um, Lion King, my favorite movie, and The Lion King, too, my favorite sequel. And it definitely has issues. I'm not going to say it's a perfect movie, but I'm not going to say that it's uh, unsavable either. No, it's actually, it actually has a decent animation. Yeah, well, we'll yeah, talk about it when yeah. that episode comes up. So let's yeah. not spoil. Yeah, <laughs> if you want to listen to our full thoughts on Lion King, too, you should go listen to that episode in the future. <laughs> Or maybe right now it's, it's already. It's already. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're already in the future, and the, that episode is already out. We don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I think that basically kind of covers everything that we wanted to touch on this very first episode. Just as a closing thought, I wanna I want us to each mention one movie 
one Disney movie that uh-huh. you think deserves a sequel that doesn't have one. <laughs> okay, Tammy, do you have one that you want to start? I do have one. I do have one. Okay. Um, so I was looking through the list, and immediately when I saw the name of it, I was like, that's the one. It's Treasure Planet. Oh, yes. <laughs> I I'm love- sorry. I'm going to say something. That's Go the one I was going to say, too. <laughs> I mean, it was like, I don't, I love Treasure Planet. I love it. And yeah. I just think we were robbed of not having a sequel. It was planned. It was there. They have a story. It just was not made. And it makes me feel so sad. I, I just feel like they did such a great job developing Jim's character and having him overcome his, like, overcome his struggles that I feel like we could have gotten a really nice story with this new Jim character. Like we can, it would allow us to get to know who he has become. We know who he was, but now we, we could get a story where he, where he is his full self. And I just, oh, it makes me sad. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, Go ahead. You know, if this is, since this is your also yeah. no, movie yeah, that you yeah, yeah, okay. can like build off of it. I absolutely 100% agree with you. I think Treasure Planet is the one movie that really deserves a sequel because I, I was thinking about this earlier and it kind of clicked on me that it's kind of like a little Star Wars because you oh, have you have this movie that that's is, what it is. <laughs> you have this movie that's really like it's very solid on its own, you know. And you hope and Treasure yeah. Planet are very solid on their own, and the, and Luke has a a very def, um, definitive arc in Any Hope. And Jim also has one on a special planet. But the thing is that you can, as Tammy said, you can build up from there. And it was already there. Like, there was concept art. There was an idea. There was an actual idea for uh, the plot for the second movie. And it just breaks my heart that we will probably never get it. Oh. And I think I also read some somewhere sometime many years ago that it was planned to not make it like a movie, but make it like an animated series. Oh. And actually, no, I would be completely fine with it as well, because I really think it deserves it. I think Treasure Planet has such a rich universe, and it created many characters that are lovable and that you can yeah. you can totally create another movie or an, or an animated show about it with no problem, and it would be yeah. amazing. And we were absolutely robbed. Uh, can I continue on this bandwagon? Um, I'm going to say, I, hearing you guys, you're totally right. And I think <laughs> Treasure Planet's sequel will work because the first movie has the necessary elements to make a good franchise, I'd say. Because it's more about the characters and it's more about the world. And can you imagine the world building yeah. and the rest of it? I mean, the story, it's good, but... I think the movie was more about the characters. Yeah. Especially Jim. Jim is an amazing Disney character and mm-hmm. it, it's a very yeah, unusual is. one. He's like the, the rebel, the rebel kid, like, I think he was journey, blah, 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 but I think our generation really kind of relates to Jim in that yeah. aspect. I, I yeah. Think, I think he's a really big one for our generation. And also I, for the, for the people that maybe not know that I, I, I don't, I don't remember where I read this. But I'm sure that the sequel or the animated show that was planned for Treasure Planet has something to do with like an academy and Jim. It does. Yeah, I yeah. think too. Jim was it going does. to an academy and he was going to become, you know, just a pilot or, stuff. or yeah. something. And he was going to have captain. a girlfriend and he was going to have a lot of adventures in space. Gonna be the girlfriend. I, <laughs> I mean, the word it. Oh my god, I used to be in love with Jim when I was twelve. I'm. So I would have loved right about that. Uh, is it wrong that I'm? I, I'm 21 years old and I'm totally in love with this 16 year old kid. But in my defense, I, I met I him when I was like eight. <laughs> so <laughs> kind of just, yeah. I haven't just, I haven't outgrown that crush on Jim Hawkins. Like he's very cute. Well, he yeah. has a, he has a big heart. I have already. It's, it's gone. <laughs> oh, he has a I big mean, heart <laughs> and he has a very cute haircut as well. <laughs> well, Tammy is your, you're a little older than us, maybe. That when we real. get there, maybe when you get to 24, you'll you'll see you'll see the light, or I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, I will let you know when we get there. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I think it's my turn, right? Oh, yeah, okay. Here. So you don't want to talk about any other? No. No, I think okay. uh, I was already ready to talk about Treasure Planet and you know I I don't believe in sequels unless there's an actual like story that you can build up from and oh, well I don't know which one you're gonna say but I think especially like the very uh, more recent movies 
they they ha they create the the thing is that you need to create characters in order to be able to create a sequel. So you know, I think the 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 latest movies, you know, ever since uh, maybe Big Hero Six, Frozen, Rocky Ralph, what Rocky Ralph is gonna have a sequel. Mm -hmm. But um, those movies, they create worlds and they create universes and they create characters, mm -hmm. and that's a very good basis for a sequel. If it wasn't Treasure Planet, I think I would have said Big Hero Six because they were basically an origin story movie. And you can make a hundred sequels about their adventures, and I think that would be amazing. You, we, uh, we do have the animated the, the animated uh, TV show that's new that I haven't watched it, but I hear it's mm -hmm. really funny. Yeah, and, I need to check that out too. And you could Disney could definitely make a sequel for Big Hero Six, and it would be amazing. They have everything for it. Okay, I was gonna say Big Hero Six, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, no, actually. Um, I'm really happy to say that the movie I wanted to have a sequel is going to have it. Rocket right, Ralph. Yeah. Um, it's awesome. We're going to get to watch it, and maybe in the future we will get to it. We will, we will yeah. make an episode about it. We will make an episode about Rocket Ralph. <laughs> yeah. Can I actually say something about Rocket Ralph? Yes. Yeah. Because Wreck It Ralph was like the movie that opened my eyes to all the Disney films. Because before Wreck It Ralph, I only watched Disney princess films. Oh, okay. But after Wreck It Ralph, I just like, I binged watch everything like <laughs> Toy Story, Finding Nemo, all the Pixar films, everything with animals. I was just like, I'm watching it all. And I just discovered how I, I, I watched these. These don't remember rewatch them. I never like realized how good they were. And after Wreck It Ralph, I just I just realized like Disney is more than a princess the, the, than the Disney princesses. Mm -hmm. That's good. I love it. I love yeah. that we all have that movie that really opened our eyes and made us feel like for Disney. Well, Vanellope is a princess like for thirty mm -hmm. seconds or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. exactly. Good point. So it does like it was a good. It was it was perfect for you to notice other yeah. movies. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, uh, I was going to, I wasn't going to talk about Rick and Ralph or Big, Hero, or Big Hero 6 per se, because I was just going to say, well, Big Hero 6 is, well, has a TV series. But, um, yeah, I real, I agree that the newer movies are the ones with more sequel material, maybe. Mm -hmm. And maybe because what I, because of what I said, because of the character. Of course, I love a lot of Disney characters. A lot of them are in the Golden Age movies and Renaissance movies, and they are awesome. But I think the newer ones, it's a different, it's a different market. It's a different generation altogether. Yeah. And you know, you gotta sell, sell them toys. So <laughs> you have to make the kids like your characters. So I'm going to say Zootopia. Okay. I think it, it has a lot of potential. I, I don't know if I want it really early. Maybe you can wait some years to, you know, pump it out. Um, but I don't know. It, it had a great story and it was a tight story and the arc was completed. But, well, Judy is a cop. So I'm sure she will see a lot of stuff in her career. <laughs> and maybe we can see some of that too with a sequel. And I really want to know what happens to Nick. Because yeah. he became a cop too, so I don't know. That's so sweet. Yeah. I love that. I love Zootopia. <laughs> I love Zootopia. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yes. So I think, yeah, I think that's the sequel. That's a, that's a, that's a secret to a good sequel. You need to have good characters and you need to have, you need to understand those characters. Because I think sometimes what's wrong with the sequels is that they kind of forget what the characters already went through yeah. in the first one. So they kind of regress. From that, and they kind of unlearn the lessons that they worked so hard to learn <laughs> on the to learn on the first one. So I think you really need to have an understanding of the characters and their arcs on the first movie, so you can build mm -hmm. up from there. So you can make a different arc. Like you, you need to think, okay, this character already went from point point A to point B. How can we get them to from point B to point C? And that's kind of what you need to do to create a good sequel. And, you know, sometimes Disney does that, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes they try, but it doesn't kind of work. And, yeah, that's what we're here to do. We're here to analyze everything, what makes a sequel good, what makes a sequel bad, and 
how it can improve from the original material and mm -hmm. how it can make the universe bigger or how can how it can just kind of destroy it altogether. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, can I say something? Yeah. Well, can I ask a question? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, so we are not going to talk about Pixar in this podcast, but I want to know your thoughts on the Pixar sequels. How do you think they handle... They hand, because before uh, this Wreck-It Ralph 2 thing, Disney, like Walt Disney Animation Studios didn't do sequels. Yeah. Except for Rescuers and Fantasia. And Winnie Pooh. Mm -hmm. And Winnie Pooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's kind of the the latest sequel that has come out, I think. Yes. 2011. Yeah. And before that, I think, just... You know, there was a point in Disney history that they were pumping out Disney sequels just every <laughs> single year, maybe two, three a year. Yeah. And then it kind of just stopped. And now they're kind of, they're trying, they're, they're going to see how it goes with Rocky Ralph and Frozen 2. And I think if those movies do well, they're going to start making more sequels. Yeah. I think. Well, my, my question was okay. around that because Disney used to handle their sequels very differently from Pixar. Yeah. Pixar just treated mm -hmm. them as movies in as their lineup. Yeah. yeah. And in that time, We're going to talk about this like with more detail when we do the the episodes. But Disney just uh, didn't do it themselves. Like they commissioned people in other parts of the world with Disney tunes. I think a lot of that was a lot of the animation at least was made in Asia or mm -hmm. some place where the workers weren't paid as much and of course they had a minimum budget so I don't know more than a question it's it's just that it, it makes me kind of curious why did Disney try to do this and not make sequels like Pixar does I mean, or, or did if, mm -hmm. if you don't mind uh, I'll go first I think it has a lot to do with how rescuers down under uh, I mean, Rushers Down Under wasn't a successful, a successful movie. It wasn't. It lost money. Maybe we should. Yeah, I, we're gonna okay. we're gonna talk about that on the first episode. But you know, just as a just a way to answer your question, I think mm -hmm. because Rescuers Down Under didn't do well, it kind of discouraged Disney to make more sequels that mm -hmm. were big budget and not to put money in it, not yeah. to like invest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But they still wanted to cash in <laughs> on their classicals, especially okay. after Disney Renaissance. Like, they were very big hits, and they wanted to kind of cash in on them, but they didn't want to put a lot of money on the line because they saw that the Rescuers and Under didn't do well. So I think they just kind of made the sequels with a minimum, but with a minimum budget, just so they can cash in a little bit with, without putting too much at risk. And differently from Pixar, um, Pixar just, as you said, treats their sequels as another movie. They don't treat them as just subpart Pixar movies. They're Pixar movies. And that's, and it takes them forever to make them. And yeah. that's, and that's what's happening. And that's what's happening that makes... with, uh, Disney right now. They're, they're trying to, they're trying again. They're kind of being more hopeful about the sequels and they're treating the sequels as another Disney movie, not as subpart. Disney inadequate movies. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. yeah. Totally agree with you. Very good. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, anything else or are we... I think that's it. I think we're good to go. Uh, I'm glad that we did this episode because we. I really wanted the people to get to know us a little bit before they listen to the podcast. So, I'm very, very glad and I'm very, very excited about this podcast. I've been... <laughs> You know, Andy was the first one that suggested that we do it, and I I wasn't immediately on board because I hadn't listened to the Disorder podcast, but once I heard them, I was yeah. like, yes, this needs to happen, and we need to do it. We are the people to do it, and, and I'm so excited for this. Yeah, I, I think it was like, you were like 15 minutes in the first episode, and you already told me, like, we need to do this podcast. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like that enthusiasm. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm very <laughs> enthusiastic and I have a lot of things to say about Disney sequels, so yeah, I can't wait. Yeah. Okay. How about you? Me too. How about you? Yeah. 
feel yeah, like? I was like, I, when you first said Disney sequels, I was like, uh, like, because you know how they have negative connotations, but when you explained more about what you wanted to do, like dive deeply and mm-hmm. analyze each one of them, like how they affected the, how they affected the original, how they build off of it, what they could have done better, and just an overall look at the movie, I was like, yes. Yes. <laughs> <I'm> good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> good. Good. I think that's it. Uh, we are gonna say our goodbyes now. But before we do, I kind of want to uh, do a little promotion right now. I don't know if you have heard it before. If you have heard Andy and I before, but we do have another podcast, and you and should you should know this about us. We are big Star Wars fans, Sammy as well. <laughs> and sometimes I think it's gonna be inevitable that we're gonna have some Star Wars reference kind of. They dissolved off in the um, episodes, but we're gonna keep them to a minimum. But we do, <laughs> we'll we try. You, you They're still we Disney. Are. Yeah, it's exactly. Still Disney. Disney. So we kind of excuse. <laughs> and to be fair, that the sequel trilogy sequels. There's other oh, Disney sequels, oh, so, so, we're going to, so we are allowed to kind of Discuss mention them. them. We are allowed to mention <laughs> them here and then. Yeah, but we, you, you really need to know that we are big Star Wars fans. And we also have another podcast called The Real Alliance. And then I with other two girls called Grisha and Fer. And you should listen to that. <laughs> and if you're interested. Yeah, we just, it's just an hour, two hours of us fangirling. <laughs> and, but what, with, with brains, with intellectual fangirling. That's what I like. Fangirling with brains. I want that on a shirt. <laughs> oh, yeah. We should do that. That's a running joke with us. Like, we, whenever we say something, it's like, oh, I want that on a shirt. Yeah. That's gonna happen a lot. I and think. one day, we'll do them. One day, we'll, we'll make them. We will make those shirts. All of them. <laughs> so, yeah. Dolce to the Radio Alliance. Um, we we're very excited to, we, for that project and this one as well. And just hit us up on our social media. And it's, uh, two division pod on, in, on, on Twitter. Twitter, and you can also send us an email to to the podcast at gmail dot com. No, it's uh, sorry, we, it's just we just created this email. So <laughs> two division podcast at gmail dot com. That's what I said. No, you said two division. No, you said two the pod. Uh, oh, sorry, two division podcast. At gmail.com. <laughs> That's where you can send us an email, send us questions, and just hit us, just say hello, and say what you think about the, the podcast. And yeah, you, you could do that. So, uh, do you guys want to um, say goodbye? Uh, yeah, okay. So, um, bye, and <laughs> thanks for listening, and I'm excited to get this started with all of you. Yay! Yay! Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I think this will be uh, everything for now, and yeah, I'm very excited too, and I think we can send you off to the next episode. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Thank you so much for all of your time, thank you for listening, and just thank you for being part of this journey with us, <laughs> and we'll see you on the very first episode. Goodbye! Bye! Bye!